Hi, Van. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to learn about dotted quarter notes today. Dotted quarter notes are quarter notes, just like this, except they have a dot on the side of them. And that dot adds a little bit more time to that note. So instead of just getting one beat, it gets one and a half beats. And we'll learn about how that works. Also, uh, percussion, we're going to learn about how to do a closed roll. So now, when you see a quarter note, and it has some lines going through it, okay, instead of just playing a quarter note and letting it bounce, you're actually going to roll over sixteenth notes. So you'll be going huckleberry, except with while you're doing that, you're going to let your sticks roll, and it's going to sound like this. So instead of just, it's now going to roll. Okay? We'll learn about that too. All right, let's first of all take a look at these dotted quarter notes that I have written up here. Here's a dotted quarter note, okay? And we start every measure with one, so we put a one there. Now, that dot adds some time to it, so we're going to write one dash two. This eighth note doesn't quite come in on three. It takes up the last part of the second beat, so this is going to be the and. One dash two and. Here, uh, this dotted quarter note comes in on beat three. And again, that dot right here extends a note. So it goes three dash four. And then this comes in on the and of four. This rhythm is going to go like this one dash two and three dash four and. Okay. Now, if we move down here, we have a really similar rhythm. The only difference is, I made this note go, it's gone. I turned it into an eighth rest, and I wanted to show you guys how to write that. So, we're going to write one dash two, because we have a dotted quarter note, just like that. And now, we put an and here, but since it's a rest, now we put it in parentheses. Okay, here we'll write 3-4 just like above, and then this is still the and. So this will now be 1-2 and 3-4. Uh, let's actually try clapping all the way through these, okay? 1, 2, ready, go. 1-2 and 3-4 and 1-2 and 3-4 and. Down here, I've switched it. So now we start the measure with an eighth note. So this will be 1. We start every measure with 1. Since this only gets half a beat, this dotted quarter note comes in on the AND. We now extend this to 2. So it'll get and dash two. This eighth note comes in on three. And again, this starts on the and. So it'll be and dash four. This rhythm is going to go like this. One and two. Three and four. Okay? Now let's try going all the way through using our dotted quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. 1 dash 2 and 3 dash 4 and 1 dash 2 and 3 dash 4 and 1 and 2, 3 and 4. Awesome! That's at least a start. Now, if you open up your books to page 22, we're going to look at number 110. 110, we start right away with some dotted quarter notes. Clap number 110 with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three dash four. One dash two and three dash four. One dash two and three dash four. One dash two and three dash four. Repeat. One, two, and three dash four. One dash two and three dash four. 
1-2 and 3-4, 1-2 and 3-4. All right, now let's take a look at number 111. Okay, we're now using the uh, dotted quarter notes as we play. One, two, ready, go. The notes, the fingerings aren't too tough on this one. The rhythm, though, is different. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Let's get the neck strap nice and good. One, two, ready, go. Moving to the brass. One, two, ready, go. Huckleberry hold and pie, huckleberry hold and pie. Here we go. One, two, three, T, go. Repeat. Awesome. So that's the intro to dotted quarter notes. Now, let's put it to like some real music. Number 112, we have, um, if we read all the way through the music, we have a DC all fine. That DC means to go back to the head, de capo, go back to the head. Okay, so go back to the head, and then we stop when it says fine. So we'll read all the way through, go back to the head, and then stop when it says fine. All right, check out the key signature 
Uh, for most of us, our first note is going to be flat. Flutes, thumb. One, two, three, pinky. A flat. Okay? One, two, ready, go. to mention in measure five we also have a flat note D flat remember that one it's just the pinky just the pinky on that one all right on clarinet our first note B flat looking at the key signature thumb one two three and one okay one two ready go <laughs> Our note in measure five is E flat. Remember that one? Thumb, one, two, side key. And both of the E's in there are E flat. The flat stays through the measure. All right, on alto, our first note is F natural. One, two, three, and then one. Okay? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> note is B flat first finger okay looking at the key signature one two ready go horn we start with a, an E flat for us in the first measure. One, two, ready, go. Let's try that again. Two, ready, go.
trombone. Starting in third position. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> fifth position, D flat, which is really cool. Here's number, uh, still staying on this one, snares, we now get to practice our rolls, okay? So in the first measure, we're going to go apple, apple, flam, huckleberry, except on the huckleberry, we're going to roll. Okay, see if you can follow along. Ready, go. Oh, turn the snare on. Ready, go. Rest. Two, three. Repeat. All right. Now let's move on to number 113. This is one of my favorites. I love playing this one. Notice the key signature is different now, okay? So that extra flat we had has now gone away. 113. One, two, uh, it's in three, four. One, two, three, ready, set, go. mistake in there, you'll be able to play along with me uh, as I play the other uh, instruments. Here it is on clarinet. One, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> fun to play. So on alto, with the neck strap, nice. One, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, ready, set, go.
hand in a blade on the side here. One, two, three, ready, set, go. Now let's try that again. Ready, set, go. in measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's an eighth rest. So it's just a quick little rest right there. One. Okay. I want to make sure that's a little different. All right. Let's move on. Here's number 114. 114 Scarborough Fair. One, two, three. Ready, set, go. the D's in there are D flat, only the pinky for D flat. Clarinets likewise, E flat for us. One, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> see a B, one, two, and the side key. Let's get the next wrap right there. One, two, go. <laughs> Trumpet, 
Uh, we want to do E flats when we have an E. Okay, so E flats on this one. One, two, go. <laughs> French horns, A flats for us. One, two, go. <laughs> Measure eight, we go huckleberry berry. So we put an extra berry in there and then pie. Okay, so measure eight's gonna sound. Okay, and then the last measure, huckleberry, huckleberry pie. Okay, all right. In number 115, we now switch around to using this kind of rhythm. Eighth note, then dotted quarter. So check check it out. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One dash two and three dash four. One, two, three and. One, two, three and. One and three dash four. Repeat. One dash two and three dash four. One, two, three and. One, two, three and. One and three dash four. Here it is. I'll just play it on a few instruments here. One sixteen. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> See if you can follow. Ready, go. Okay, you're welcome to repeat. 
repeat that and listen to it a few times. And finally, uh, let's take a look at all Lang Syne. We're using both this kind of dotted quarter note and this kind. Okay? I'll play it on just a couple instruments. Starts on a pickup note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. sticky keys right there it kind of sounded weird and here is here it is on snare snares we don't do the pickup you wait all the way to beat one one two three four one two three And that takes us through our lesson on dotted quarter notes. Hope you're having fun. Happy music making. See you later.